Scott Schiller, Charleston, South Carolina. You might know me out there in Webland, on Facebook land, and on the forums as Haynes Garage. Figured I'd make a little video. I've been getting asked a lot of questions lately in light of all these new videos, and some of them are funny and some are very serious. Uh, I've got a new friend that's making some of these videos with me. We've got some plans for the future for this uh, flat fender fever that we both have, Mike Watson. Uh, I'd like to explain a little bit about my project and why I do what I do. This is the back side of my project, a 1946 Willis CJ2A. It was owned by my grandfather, Richard Haynes, who was a World War II veteran. I imagine my grandfather, like other World War II veterans, fell in love with the Jeep during World War II. He used this particular one to plow snow in western New York in a town of Scotia for over 30 years that I know of, and I'm sure it was more than that. When I was a little boy, I was three, my father was in Vietnam. We lived with my grandparents. At the time, if you could go snow plowing with grandpa, well, that, that was just a huge deal. Uh, one story I was told by my mom was that when I was three, they couldn't find me in the house. And uh, I had actually went out to the garage, which was a pretty good distance from the main house. And uh, I was asleep in the back seat of this Jeep. Whether I thought I was going snow plow or not, I don't remember. But that is a neat story. So, when my grandfather passed away in 2004, I inherited this, this Jeep. And it was, a, it was a basket case. It was full of rust. And the engine was blown and cracked. And it, it leaked everywhere. There's pictures on the web. I've got those on my own hands garage form. Which brings me to this. People say, well, you know, your name is Scott Schiller. Why don't you use that? Why do you say Haynes Garage? Well, my grandfather also ran a repair shop, an uh, automotive repair shop in Scotia, New York, and it was called Haynes Garage. So when I first started on this project, all over the forums and the web is looking for information and ways that I could build this back together, I figured it was only fitting to use that username. One of the coolest things on World War II Jeeps, the MBs and the GPWs, were where they carried the axe and shovel. So you have two wind dents here, and your sheath and your foot and loops for carrying those those pioneer tools. I had to have that on my Jeep. I was almost possessed with having that. And um, these indents right here were made by a good friend of mine, Eric Kalamaya. He actually traded me out uh, for an axe that I restored for his Jeep short round. And I'm pretty proud of this side of the Jeep and I think it pretty much looks correct to what an MB would have looked like. The tailgate is kind of interesting because I've got the drawbar that would have been on the CJ2A and I kept the hitch and that's the hitch that will fit actually the uh, band that someone modified out back, so it's going to work out okay. I've added the jerry can holder and the GPW style tire, spare tire carrier. I've got the bumperettes and the tailgate. Uh, the tailgate is the CJ2A tailgate, but I've bolted it together as such it would be on an M38, so it will not be used anymore. So that way I don't have to worry about tires and jerry cans back and forth. It would make no sense. I'm not going to change out the front grille. I'm going to leave that stock CJ2A. I've painted it all up OD green. And something just interesting that I fabricated and made was this uh, weight tag or tonnage tag, as you might call it. Uh, and I've got the HG on there and the HG2, which the two would have been correct. But the HG stands for Haynes Garage. Haynes Garage 2. I think that's neat. When I first started out on my Jeep adventure, my wife said to me, she said, Think of the adventure you are on and the people you will meet because of your grandfather's Jeep. And that could not be more true. I have met hundreds of people who are involved with these old flat fender Jeeps. They're all fantastic people, always willing to give a hand. And without a lot of you guys and all the help that I've received from so many, I would not even be close to the, the spot that I'm at with this Jeep. And I appreciate it all. Uh, a lot of my friends are on Facebook with the CJ2A groups, and I have my own little private forum. Anybody's allowed to join uh, the HG, uh, out, home of the Outlaw of Willis Gang forum. And I'll put those up at the end. If you're interested in participating there, you're more than welcome. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I kind of explained and answered some of the questions I get asked. I am restoring this 1946 Willis CJ2A in honor of my grandfather, Richard Haynes, and in his memory, he's a very important person to me. And I just want to carry on the legacy and hopefully someday pass this on to my son who will do the same thing. I enjoy participating with all of y'all and I hope that you enjoy the videos. Please like the YouTube channels for Haynes Garage and Watson's Wagons. And if you'd like to participate in the Haynes Garage Pro Boards Forum, feel free to do so also. 
Subscribe on YouTube, Haynes Garage. Subscribe on YouTube, Watson's Wagons. Haynes Garage at ProBoards.com. See you there.